This video scribe explains all about limestone and why it's such an important building material. Limestone has been used as a building material for thousands of years. The ancient Egyptians even used it to build the pyramids by placing large pieces of limestone blocks on top of each other. In Roman times, they worked out that if you heat limestone with clay, you can make a new substance called cement. They discovered that cement mixed with sand and a bit of water was a great material for sticking bricks together and managed to make much more complex buildings. Cement and sand mixed together is called mortar and this hardens over time. We can also mix cement, sand and aggregate, which are small stones, to make a versatile substance called concrete. This can be poured into moulds to make any shape and is very strong after it has hardened. So what's in limestone that makes it so useful for so many things? The answer is that it mainly contains the compound calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is used in so many everyday things, from makeup to glass, chalk, paint, paper, it's used as a food additive for both animal and human food. It's used in medicines, toothpaste, glue, and is also used to neutralise acidic gases which are produced by some industrial processes. Limestone is obtained from the ground in large quarries. These are noisy, dusty, dangerous places and the limestone is often blasted from the ground using explosives. Large lorries then transport the limestone and they can cause a lot of traffic congestion. Quarries also destroy habitats and ruin landscapes. It's not all bad though. The quarries can be converted to fishing or water sports lakes after the limestone has been extracted. The Eden Project in Cornwall is situated in an old quarry. Quarries also provide jobs for local people and may provide better facilities such as roads, shops etc. The limestone cycle is an important series of chemical reactions. Firstly, the calcium carbonate is heated to make calcium oxide and carbon dioxide is lost. Then water is added to make calcium hydroxide. If carbon dioxide is added to the calcium hydroxide, calcium carbonate is then produced and we're back to where we started. The limestone cycle can be created in the lab. All you need to do is heat up a lump of limestone. If you're lucky, you'll see the limelight as the calcium carbonate thermally decomposes into calcium oxide, it will glow. This is an endothermic reaction as heat must be put in for the reaction to happen. Many years ago, this reaction was carried out in lime kilns. Nowadays, large rotary lime kilns are used. All metal carbonates thermally decompose in this way. For example, magnesium carbonate thermally decomposes into magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide. Copper carbonate thermally decomposes into copper oxide and carbon dioxide. Zinc carbonate thermally decomposes into zinc oxide and carbon dioxide. And sodium carbonate thermally decomposes into sodium oxide and carbon dioxide. Get used to the pattern as this is a common exam question. Metal carbonates thermally decompose to metal oxides, releasing carbon dioxide as they do so. Not all metal carbonates thermally decompose at temperatures reached by a Bunsen burner. 
How readily they decompose depends on where they are in the reactivity series. Those lower down in the reactivity series tend to decompose more readily at lower temperatures. So now we've made our calcium oxide, otherwise known as quicklime, we need to react it with water to make the alkaline compound calcium hydroxide, otherwise known as slaked lime. This is used by farmers to neutralise acidic soils, as some crops don't grow as well unless the soil pH is correct. If more water is added to the solid calcium hydroxide, a solution of calcium hydroxide is made, which is called lime water. This is used as a test for carbon dioxide gas. If you bubble carbon dioxide into lime water, it turns cloudy. This is because calcium carbonate has been made, so we're back to the beginning. Limestone, although a good building material, is damaged by acid rain. Statues and buildings are chemically weathered and can lose features. All carbonates react with acids to produce carbon dioxide, a salt and water. Again, get used to the pattern. Sodium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid makes the salt sodium chloride and carbon dioxide and water. Calcium carbonate and sulfuric acid makes the salt calcium sulfate and carbon dioxide and water. Magnesium carbonate and nitric acid makes the salt magnesium nitrate plus carbon dioxide and water. This concludes this topic. Thanks for watching.